Hello everyone. Today I will show you a real-time implementation of the Shamisen using finite different schemes. This is a conference paper for the Sound and Music Community Conference of 2021. It is written by me, Alborg University graduate student Tatas Lasitskas, uh, Sullen Williamson, a PhD fellow of Alborg University, and a professor of Alborg University, Stefania Serifin. So first of all, what is Shamisen? Shamisen is a Japanese three-stringed lute, which has a specific and pleasant sound. Due to, due to the rarity of the instrument, it is not common to own it, thus making a real-time virtual instrument beneficial to the artists who would like to use its sound but can't afford to own and learn the instrument itself. To model a virtual instrument, a finite different schemes were used. Uh, the instrument itself is a combination of multiple parts. It is simplified to a couple of main parts, which are three strings, a bridge, and a membrane. Bridge is used to connect the strings and the membrane together as you will see later in the demonstration. The strings are modeled as stamped stiff strings with clamped boundaries, which are resting on the bridge and uh, they're making a connection. The bridge is modeled as a damped linear bar with three boundaries, which has uh, a lot of connections. Two connections are connected to the membrane and three of them are connected to each of the strings. Uh, the membrane is modeled as a damp stiff membrane uh, with a rectangular clamped boundary. It is uh, connected to the bridge at two locations there. Now that we have a Shamisen model that was uh, developed using finite different schemes, we should excite uh, the instrument in order to perform with it. The excitation is a addition of hand window, which uh, is introduced at every mouse click. Here is a mock representation of the strings of the discrete strings and we can see that here is our hand window uh, here we have a connection to the bridge and here we have the output locations the input location is chosen to minimize the probability of hitting the node location and what no hitting node location would mean it would, it would mean that that specific mode of the string or of the uh, vibrating body would disappear. So after all that we made a real-time implementation using C++ and Juice framework and uh, using Juice we got a graphical user interface that is uh, used for our purpose and I am right now gonna show you how it all works. Here is our application and we can see that we have three strings at the top colored in green. Uh, you can distinguish them by that they are arranged in the rows. Uh, the red column at the right is the bridge and the blue rectangle grid here is our memory. And uh, as I mentioned before, we can excite uh, each of the components by just clicking a, a mouse on them. So here is this string at C4, G4, and C5. Uh, here we have the bridge and the memory. And you can see the connection points on the membrane 
when the strings are being excited or when the bridge is being excited. That concludes the demonstration. And thank you for your attention. I will be looking for your comments and questions at the Q&A at the day of the conference. Thank you.